It's Miss Paula from Chicago Ridge Public Library with art at the library from home. With Cinco de Mayo around the corner, I'm going to show you how to make a paper mache maraca pinata. You'll want to start this now so that it's ready in time for Cinco de Mayo. You could even do this activity outside. Your pinata will look something like this. So the things that you will need for your pinata, you will need one cup of all-purpose flour, three cups of warm water, a tablespoon of salt, a large bowl, a spoon or a whisk, newspaper cut up or shredded, can use either tissue paper or wrapping paper, old wrapping paper that's left over, um, or you might even want to paint it. I tried both, so you'll see how that works. Um, you'll need a balloon, or if you don't have a balloon handy, you can use a thin cardboard box, such as a cereal box, and you'll just make it a different shape. Be creative. And then you'll need, if you do use the balloon, you'll need something to balance it on. And then you'll also need something like twine or something like that to uh, fasten your pinata up high so that um, when you're actually using it, that uh, it can hang from somewhere like a tree branch or something like that. So the first step would be to take your th one cup of flour and three cups of water Make sure it's warm and mix it together and add that tablespoon of salt. Now this paste will last in your refrigerator for up to three days. Next, you'll blow up your balloon so that it's about this size. And then you can dip in your newspaper and you'll just wipe off the excess and you put it across your balloon and you can just keep doing this until your whole entire balloon is just about covered except for that very bottom piece. Like I said, this is a bit of a messy craft, but the kids love it. So this is the start of how it'll look. Then your next step is to let it dry and it'll look something like this after it's been completely covered and has dried for 24 hours. You'll want to go back then and um, check to see if there are any holes or anything like that. At that point, you can take your balloon out. You'll pop it and then remove that from your paper mache pinata. And at that point, you can take and cut just a little bit of a circle here, and you can insert a used paper towel roll uh, in here or cut it down. And that's what made our stick for our pinata here. Okay. So then that was just paper mache on. And then I used tissue paper up here for the yellow and the pink. And then I actually decided to paint the green. So that's how that turned out. I actually like how the paint turned out better, but authentic, I think pinatas actually use paper. And then don't forget, your last step is to fill it with all kinds of goodies. Seal it up after you have your candy in there, and then you can hole punch this and put your, your string through here or your twine or twist tie or whatever you have, and then you'll suspend that and it'll be all ready for Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Know that we miss you very much and we hope that all of you are staying safe. Join us again next time for Art at the Library at Home.